Uh, you can change the size of the brush. Can we go, what is this? Like how extreme is 100 by 100 here? Oh boy. Oh, how high can you get the terrain? All right, so we have, uh, we've loaded in here and oh, ho, 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 ho. that is some big corn. Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today, we are back with a brand new update. Now, not too long ago, they came out with a little update that was basically this world builder, and you could take any of the pre-existing tiles in the game and stick them together and make your own custom worlds. Well, in the uh, test branch, they now have a new feature, and that is the tile builder. So that means you can actually make all those little tiles and then go over to the world builder and stick them together and create fully custom scrap mechanic worlds. Now I do believe this is a bit of a game changer because you're gonna be able to do basically any worlds that you can think of. Now several other features that they've added, you can now share tiles on the workshop. So say you create a really cool custom tile that you want to maybe share with a buddy. Uh, you can just now upload it to the workshop and anybody can download that. And I think eventually worlds are going to be up there. I'm not sure if that's already enabled or not. So what we're going to do here today, we're going to go in, check out the tile builder. We'll jump into the world builder and kind of play around with our custom tile in there. And then we'll look and see what it looks like actually in game. So anyways, folks, if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, want to see more of it, hit that thumbs up button. And also comment below with things that you want to see with this world builder. Because this is going to open up the opportunity for new themes and new series here in Scrap Mechanic. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay, here we are. As you can see, it's nice and blank. So what you're going to want to do, uh, we're not going to create like a fully detailed new tile here today. We're going to kind of go over the tools and uh, we'll put something together. So what you need to do, you're going to go up here to File. You're going to go to New or you can go to Open if you already are working on a tile. So we'll go to New. Now they have all the different tile sizes. You get small, medium, large, extra large. Uh, we're gonna go with the uh, we'll go with the large tile here today. So you go to create, and boom, there is your scrap mechanic canvas waiting for you to paint it. So this is a uh, pretty similar to a lot of games. Uh, one game that comes into mind is uh, Far Cry. They always had a really good terrain editor, and it reminds me a bit of that. This is actually quite easy to use once you get kind of used to the controls. So. You can do everything from the terrain itself, maybe the height, uh, make it go up, down, smooth it out, uh, create crazy mountains, crazy valleys. I've already seen some tiles where people are trying to create some caves, uh, some cool stuff there. Uh, you can do that. You've got the, uh, the ground textures over here. Uh, those, you've got like the sand, the rock, the different colors of grass. So you can go in and paint your actual terrain parts. Uh, you've got the ground color, which... I don't really know what this is. I'm assuming it's what it sounds like. So say if we were to go to red here, would it go red? Oh, whoa. I have never seen red terrain in Scrap Mechanic. Oh, you can make some really trippy worlds with that. Whoa, check that out. Let's go really like, almost like really, oh, that's ugly green. I don't know what type of green that is. It's like dark green or kind of light dark green. Uh, let's go, let's add some other colors here. Oh boy, I could probably just play around with this all day. Let's go, uh. Let's go in here. Let's go yellow. Okay, so enough of that. But uh, you get the point here. So you can do that ground color. You've also got the grass and clutter. So if you look closely, there's no, this looks like you have the uh, foliage turned off, but it's really because we haven't added anything. So you can add stuff like, uh, yeah, let's see. We want to add maybe stuff like the, uh, the wheat field. Uh, let's go and add that. So we go, oop. There's a button over here I keep clicking. So let's go ahead and select that. When you uh, move around, you move with the WASD, but you have to hold the right uh, mouse button in. And occasionally I click the shift button and it, it actually changes the menu. So anyways, let's go ahead. Boom, wheat field. That is too cool. I'm really, really liking this. So we can go wheat. Can we mix these up? I know you can select multiple at once. So say if we were to go I don't know, let's go with flowers and rocks. Does that actually mix them? Uh, oh, it does. Oh, you can see all the little rocks and the flowers. Huh, I did not know that. See, I'm learning as we go here. So, I don't know, let's go crazy. Let's go ahead, how many of these can we do? Uh, let's go ahead and add some of these, some of those, some of these. All right, let's go, boom. 
Oh, you know what? That actually doesn't look that bad. I kind of like that. So anyways, enough with the uh, the ground stuff. Let's go ahead and start playing with the terrain height. Oh, well, I guess I should go ahead and mention here's the assets uh, window. And this is like anything that you see in game from trees, helipads, tanks, signs, even uh, some of the bigger rocks and some of the mountain formations. It's all in here. So you just grab this, put it out here, and we'll play with it here in a second. You can do some really crazy stuff with the objects. Uh, you can make stuff as big as you want. And yeah, it's pretty amazing. So, huh, let's go ahead. We're going to create a little bit of a mountain here. All right. So now we have the terrain height tool. So you've got the height, flat, and smooth. They're all what they say they are. Uh, you can go and change the strength. So say if you're at 100, I think it's a lot more aggressive. So let's go boom. That's actually not too bad. So yeah, you can keep raising the terrain like that. Or you can turn the, uh, the strength down. And I think it's not quite as fast. Yeah, you can see it's slowed down there. So you've got that, you can change, oh, there's that button again. Uh, you can change the size of the brush. Can we go, what is this? Like how extreme is 100 by 100 here? Oh boy. Oh, how high can you get the terrain? Oh, that's pretty amazing. Okay. You know, one thing I really wish they had, and maybe it'll be added in the future, or maybe it's already here and I don't see it. I would like to actually get the player model and be able to jump into the world to get a, a better idea as to how high, like, say, this mountain is. Because just floating around doesn't quite do it justice. But anyways, uh, let's go back to this. Uh, we can smoothen this, or we can smooth this out, I believe. So if we start clicking that, yeah, it's starting to make it go down. It freezes a little bit uh, when you're doing something big like this. Let's uh, make that go down in size. Let's go about there. Yeah, you have to look really close. We are actually uh, manipulating it a bit. And there's the button again. I don't know, we're gonna have to have a button count. How many times I change it to the asset library when I'm trying to uh, move the camera. <laughs> so, anyways, we've got that. Uh, hmm, what do we wanna do with this? I kinda wanna create, let's make a dip in here. So, I guess flatten is just your straight down. Let's go ahead and make it really, actually let's make it about, eh, we'll go 50, we'll go pretty aggressive on the strength. Actually, we need smaller than that. 14, let's try this. See, this one, it's kind of confusing me a bit because I would like to make that go down even further. And I don't know if I'm just missing that. Can we go into the negative on that? Is that possible? I don't know. Maybe there's a brush that I'm missing because I would like to make that actually dip down. And I'm sure there's a way to do it. Uh, it wouldn't be up here. None of these tools. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually not seeing any sort of dipping option, which I'm sure there is because I've seen some of the custom uh, tiles already on the workshop. It looks like some of them are pretty low. So, anyways, we've got this ugly tile. You know, what? we're gonna go ahead since I've showed you guys kind of what this looks like. Uh, let's start off fresh again, and then uh, we'll try to maybe build something here. All right, so I have a little bit of a custom terrain here. So we're gonna go ahead. Let's yeah, let's put some clutter on it. Let's go with grass through here. So we're gonna do a bit of grass. Uh, you can't see some of it because if you're so far away, it doesn't draw in. So we'll go grass. Actually, that hill over there could be grassy too. So we got some grass here. So yeah, we're gonna paint it like that. Uh, I figured uh, maybe we're gonna use some of these rock pieces, maybe against this hill over here. So let me show you guys how to use these. You grab one of these, actually just right click, and it puts it into the game. Now it's a little weird at first, but uh, you can basically, uh, let me go ahead and move these real quick. So yeah, you can basically manipulate any object however you want so say uh, you like this little piece here well you've got the one tool here uh, this can move it so you click up in this uh, little little toolbar up here and you can go back uh, you can go to the side up down you can kind of morph it into the ground because that looks a little weird or I guess if you want it to this can float <laughs> so we'll go down a little bit here we'll kind of put it over to the side uh, this tile wouldn't really match any of the other tiles since it's kind of, I got the hills on the ends. It would look really odd with other tiles. But, uh, this is all for the purpose of demonstration here. So, we can do that. Uh, we can turn the tile. So, say we want to turn it around a little bit. Actually, why is that not, hold on, what are we doing wrong here? Let's go ahead and get down. It's because we're on the side here, there's a way to turn this. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working here. I don't know if we found a glitch. Let's go ahead and reset it here. Let's make it come out. Maybe it's because it's in the ground. It's very possible that it's that. Let's go ahead and make you come out here. And let's move you a little over here. There we go. So can we turn you now? 
There it goes. Okay, so yeah, you can turn your objects. Uh, you can move them. Some of these, it doesn't seem like you can move in certain ways. So say if we wanted to like pull this forward, it does not seem to be doing it. So maybe that's just a limitation of some objects. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but let's go ahead and move this back a little bit. Let's move it over to the side. Let's go down into the ground. Now, the objects themselves, you can make them basically as big as you want. And this is what's crazy. Check this out. So if we were to grab this, boom. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Could you imagine just having a bunch of tiles with like really tall pieces like this? And yeah, there you go. So your scrap mechanic character is probably about, eh, let's say about this tall. Yeah, you can go as big as you want. So basically, whatever parts they uh, they have here, your uh, your imagination is the limit. You could do like big, like huge mountain ranges with parts like this. That's crazy looking, huh? All right, let's go ahead and shrink that back down a little bit. Let's go down. There we go. You know, it's weird now. It seems like sometimes, and this, like I said, this is in uh, the test branch. There might be some bugs here. Uh, but now I can fully move this. I'm not really sure why now, though. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense to me, but... Another thing, I'm not sure if they have. It would be nice to have, like, a copy tool. So, say, like, you have this cool piece right here. You want to just, like, click it and copy it. Uh, I'm looking for an option, but I don't quite see one. Uh, that could be something in the future that they might add. So, say, if we just wanted to make, like, a straight wall, I can copy. Just keep dragging it over. Instead of having to uh, grab new pieces here. So... Anyways, we can move that. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I don't want the wall there. I'm going to build it, like, pretty much right down the middle here, and I'll have a little opening for an entrance. All right, so we've created kind of a, almost looks like a spooky kind of cave entrance. So what we've done behind it, I've uh, went ahead, I painted some of the stones in. We added some of these little uh, pads and moss in. Uh, what I want to do, though, we're going to mess with the, uh, the ground texture. So I changed it. There's, like, three stone materials here, and I don't remember there being three in the game, so... Let's just test one of these out. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So yeah, you've got kind of like the, uh, the... Oh, that's again. I switched it again. I hope somebody's keeping track of that. How many times I switch over to the... Uh, I click the wrong button. I go back to the assets me menu. So yeah, uh, as you can see under the grass, uh, it's kind of like a, a little bit of rock under there. So say, me, say maybe the grass is growing up through it. That's pretty cool. Uh, don't ask me about the, uh, the random... Uh, I think those are cucumbers or pickled plants. Probably need to get rid of those. So yeah, you've got that, I think, with some uh, really kind of creepy trees. Which, there's some assets in here. I don't remember seeing them in the game. Uh, but I could be wrong. But there's stuff in here. Uh, I've seen the little, uh, we call these the secret or whatever these plants are. You see them at the top of mountains. Uh, but there's some trees in here. I don't quite remember, like, these trees. Uh, I could have, or they might be in there and I just completely missed them. But I think these look kind of cool, so we're gonna stick. Uh, let's go with a couple of these. So we're gonna drag, we'll drag a couple of these out, and we can uh, move these around and maybe resize them. They look a little tall to me, so I'm gonna do that real quick. So we'll go down, put it in the ground a little bit, and what does it look like when you resize a tree? Let's go like that. Oh, it's pretty smooth. Okay. So yeah, let me uh, resize these real quick. Uh, my thought, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, we're gonna close off this cave with stone walls. I don't know what to do for the roof though I could grab more stone like this or they do have some bigger like boulder pieces uh, That I think I can put up there. there's some flatter pieces, you know, I really wish I had this little update before the uh, Before the underwater base because this would have been great for an underwater cave I'm actually <laughs> kind of sad about that. But yeah, let me go ahead I'm gonna do a bit more decorating then I'll give you guys a progress update all right, so we're gonna do a little reveal of what I've created so far. So this is just kind of a mess around session, play with some of the parts. It doesn't all necessarily make sense, but I have this kind of a, we'll call this like a stone fort or something back here. I was gonna cover the roof completely up, but I kind of like the whole fact that the sunlight comes through it. So yeah, you can walk in. Looks kind of a, I don't know if it necessarily looks, uh, it looks very inviting, but yeah, you can just come in. Kind of look around. I got some of the stone up on the roof. The stone, there's a couple different shades of color, so that does look a bit off, like right there. But for the most part, pretty happy with this. Uh, you could do a lot. I can imagine uh, maybe having like a full blown cave. I mean, you could have a whole cave system uh, with this new update if you were if you could actually match the tiles up really good. So you've got that made like a little stone path, which normally we just have the normal path, but I lined it up with these little stones. I thought that looked pretty cool. 
And you've got some of the normal trees, like the big ones. Uh, some down trees. You've got these trees. I still don't remember seeing these too much in the game over here. And just a bunch of little items, little stones, little bushes. So yeah, this is uh, pretty exciting. So say you're done with your fantastic tile, which I don't. I wouldn't call this fantastic. Uh, this wouldn't even be a tile. I don't think I would stick this in the... Yeah, the backing's a little weird on this one. I would probably stick this in like a corner or something. <laughs> that way you didn't see the back of the stone structure. But anyways, when you're done, you can go into here. You go to save. Actually, go to save as. Uh, we're going to call it Komodo. I already have Komodo 1 because I was playing around a bit with it uh, a bit earlier. So let's go with Komodo 2. There we go. So we got that saved. So you can always just share it if you want to. So you'll click the share button. But uh, we're about to jump over to the world builder. Now, I think we've pretty much gone over pretty much everything that at least I know. And I think this is about it. There's probably going to be things that they're going to add. But right now, I want to actually go into this world or go into this tile and look around and walk around it real quick. So anyways, we've saved it. Uh, let's go ahead and jump over to the world editor. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and go into the world builder. Now, one thing that they've done here, and this is so awesome. They've actually added pictures to all the pieces now. It used to be the tile pieces had a picture of a grassland for everything. So it was really hard to tell what was what. So I have downloaded a couple of things from the workshop here. Uh, just to kind of demonstrate what other people have already been working on. You've got like a red sulfur flats. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn that. What's that what it look like? Oh, well, it's red. <laughs> it's really red. It's got a cool looking. Uh, a mysterious circle. That looks like maybe some sort of, I don't know, uh, we'll call it ruins. Let's go down to that real quick. Actually, I don't think we can get far enough down to see that. Uh, the draw distance on this one's uh, pretty pretty short for objects. Uh, you've got giant corn, because why not? Oh, this is going to look so stupid. <laughs> uh, so let's put a couple of those. Uh, MJ, uh, it's actually, yeah, that's MJM. I haven't heard that name in a while. I know he still does some uh, mod stuff. Uh, let's see. We're gonna put that there. That, I believe, is gonna be a loop as soon as we can actually see it. I'm not sure why we're not seeing some of this. I could have swore you were able to see this. Now, it could be. Uh, I'd set this, uh, are, are we on the biggest map here? I don't know. Maybe we're just on the standard map. I'm kind of curious as to why I can't see this. So, let's, uh, let's go to mine. Can I see mine? Yeah, I can see mine. Huh. It's a little weird. It could be, uh, maybe a test thing that I'm not seeing some of these other ones. But, anyways... You've got some of the stuff that's already in the game, so you can select some of those. Kind of want to place a bunch of mine. I just think it's so awesome now that you actually have, like, the pictures. Because that's what made some of the buildings so hard uh, for the world builder before. So we got the pictures, but anyways, uh, we're, let's go ahead. I'm going to grab a couple more. Actually, let's just do all. I'm going to grab a couple more. This was my first tile that I've ever built. Uh, this was bad. <laughs> I actually uh, I took the little stone ramp and I just made it huge. Like, that thing is absolutely massive. Uh, let's see. We're gonna, let's just go ahead and place a couple more of my other ones. We'll see what it looks like when we have a bunch of stone little temples here. Let's go there, there, there. Okay. So, we have our fantastic, crafted, handmade, whatever you want to call it, world. Uh, we're ready to go in. Let's go uh, jump in and check this out. All right. So, we have, uh, we've loaded in here. And oh, ho, 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 ho. That is some big corn. That looks ridiculous. So I think we're at the, uh, is this the flats? Yeah, this was one of the tile pieces we put in. What is the red? Hold on, let's get rid of something on our inventory there. There we go. Uh, so what is the red look like? What, like, what does it look like up close? That's actually really neat. Man, you could really, you could probably do like your own custom, like Mars maps and stuff like that. Uh, maybe we could bring back something like the moon base at some point. Uh, let's go ahead. You know, I should probably get a vehicle for this. It's going to take a while to get over to the other side. All right, we're doing a bit of building. Now, I want to say that maybe some things did not... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, uh, some things didn't appear. Here's the MJM. This is a loop. Whoa. This might need to be a little bit bigger. I don't know if my car is going to fit on this. Uh, oh, are we stuck? Yep, we're stuck. Come on. Back up. Back it up. Back it up. Yeah, if we can do that a little bit bigger, we might be able to do something uh, with cars with that. Could you imagine that in a multiplayer Monday race? I couldn't. <laughs> uh, let's see. The corn. That. <laughs> wow. That is kind of amazing. Uh, we could do a corn map and just have corn everywhere. All right. So here's my custom pieces. You can see uh, all the ones that we planted over here. That's cool. Oh, there's more corn in the background. 
Uh, I'm gonna have nightmares about that now. Let's go ahead and drive around this way, and uh, let's check out our actual piece we built. I just I thought, man, if we had this, also, I, I said this earlier, if we had this with the underwater base, heck, if we had this with the old town, we could have created an awesome terrain piece for it. Uh, that would have been amazing. All right, so here's our custom terrain piece, so we can walk here. You've got the ominous corn staring over the hill back there. This is pretty cool. It's weird because it's actually pretty easy to put all this together, so if you were to really spend some time and do a lot of fine-tuning and fine details, you could really create some awesome tiles. So I really look forward to see what's going to pop up on the workshop because, uh, I mean, we're already only like six hours into this update. And there's already like 20 or 25 tiles on there right now. So, uh, ooh, this is pretty cool looking, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and walk into here. Yeah, I like this. Like our own little cave fort. Probably building here or something. That is sweet. Uh, look back at this one more time. Yeah, everything did mesh in pretty good together. All these are like separate parts. This is like six parts here on the front. That is awesome. I'm really happy to have this little update. So yeah, I look forward to uh, doing some more with this update. Uh, it is pretty late. This update came out late, and this is uh, I'm recording this on Thursday night. Should be out for you guys here on Friday morning. Uh, so by uh, by the time this is re released, I probably am going to play around with this a bit more. That way, I can uh, get a little bit more familiar with the tools and maybe start working on something. So if you guys have any suggestions, comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see out of this little update. Maybe what kinds of custom terrain you guys want to see. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get to work on that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little update video. Like I said, this is in the test branch, so you'll need to enable that. It is not a permanent or it's not a, uh, a for real update yet. They're probably looking for any bugs or anything. But normally, they're pretty quick about uh, actually releasing these into the normal game. So yeah. If you want to try it out, test branch. But anyways, if you guys like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.